the next point is a .NET Framework Based Classes and DLL EXE. The next point is a .NET Framework Based Classes and DLL EXE. See, .NET Based Class Library is the subpart of the framework that provides library support to common language runtime to work properly dotnet based class library is the sub part of the framework that provides library support to common language runtime to work properly see bcl stands for base class library also known as class library BCL stand for base class library also known as class library. BCL is the subset of framework class library. BCL is the subset of framework class library. Base class library provides classes and types that are helpful in performing day to day operation. Base class library provides classes and types that are helpful in performing day-to-day -day operations. BCL divides into two parts. BCL divides into two parts. First one is a user-defined class library. User-defined class library. Second one is a predefined class library second one is a predefined class library see this image it includes the system namespaces and core types of the dotnet framework it includes the system namespace and core types of the dotnet framework base class library see System.web, System.data, System.windows.form, System.drawing, System.xml. These all the system namespaces. Then system in this sentence can contain number of core types. Then next. What is the use of base class library in .NET? What is the use of base class library in .NET? Encapsulates large number of function to make them easily. Encapsulates large number of function to make them easily. It is main point of interaction between developers and runtime it is main point of interaction between developers and runtime so it provides frequently used name spaces so it provides frequently used name spaces it is a library of classes interface and value types it is a library of classes interface and value types it is the foundation of dotnet framework application control it is the foundation of dotnet framework application control the next point dll and exe dll and exe see first dll dll stands for dynamic link library DLL stands for dynamic link library. DLL file is a dynamic link library which can be used in exe file and other DLL files. DLL files is a dynamic link library which can be used in exe file and other DLL files. DLL are not directly executable. They are separate files containing functions that can be called by program and other dll that can be called by program and other dla to perform 
computation and function dot dll is the extension of dynamic link library dot dll is the extension of dynamic link library you want many application to use it but you don't want to give the source code you can't copy paste the code for the button in every program so you decide want to create a dll library you want many application to use it but you don't want to give them the source code you can't copy paste the code for the button in every program so you decide you want to create a dll library then next exe exe stands for executable file exe stands for executable file exe file is a executable file which runs in a separate process which is managed by operating system exe file is a executable file which runs in a separate process which which is managed by operating system when we work with project template like windows form application console application they generate an exe assembly when compiled when we work with project templates like windows form application console application they generate an exe assembly when compiled dot exe is the extension of executable file dot exe is the extension of executable file then next difference between dll and exe difference between dll and exe see the first dll first cannot run individually cannot run individually in exe runs individually in exe runs individually second used and supportive file for other application used as supportive file for other application itself and application in exe itself and application then third does not contain an entry point means no main function does not contain an entry point so cannot run individually does not contain an entry point means no main function so cannot run individually in exe contains an entry point that is main function contains an entry point that, that is main function so can run individually so can run individually fourth in dll a program application with out main creates a dll after compilation a program application with out main creates a dll after compilation in exe a program application with main creates an exe after compilation a program application with main creates an exe after compilation then fifth operating system does not create a separate process for any dll rather dll will run in the same process created for an exe operating system does not create a separate processes for any dll rather dll will run in the same processes created for an exe exe operating system creates a separate process for each exe it execute operating system creates a separate processes for each exe it executes